right, so I got 18 minutes to make this video, so it's gotta be real quick. So, I've lost 74 pounds and I've pretty much done it by eating keto. So I'm gonna explain just a little bit um, just what keto is. Keto is basically a high fat, low carb diet. It works better if you adjust it to your own body weight, um, you know, your lifestyle, which is pretty much how you can lose weight more effectively on any kind of weight loss plan. I think that keto is the fastest, quickest way to lose weight and to build muscle and to actually just gain a lot of your brain function back. So real quick, real quick. I have been on a weight loss journey for a long time, y'all. When I tell you, I have been trying to lose weight for damn near half my life, okay? So when I tell you keto was a godsend for me, and it's pretty much something that's always been there, but I've just never really realized that. So basically what we've been taught all of our lives about fats and how we should stay away from them and how we should, you know, eat a lot of grains and, you know, all of this stuff about bread and all of that blah, 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 is pretty much bullshit. It's garbage. It is not very efficient, at least not for me. The food pyramid where they have all the breads and stuff at the bottom and it's basically telling you that you need to be eating a lot more of those than anything else so you need to stay away from fat is a pretty much, it's piece is shit, it's shit. They need to update that crap because a lot of people are getting sick, a lot of people have become more gluten tolerant, like you see a lot of gluten free shit. I was like looking, I mean, over these past few years, everybody is like, everybody is allergic to gluten. And it's like, what? You, this is crazy. But it's because they're putting so much garbage in our food and that's, that's, that's a completely different story. Now, as far as, um, you know, the macros and, you know, trying to get all of that preciseness, scientific, it's, it's really scientific, but I don't feel like you really have to do that. It's pretty much, you know, a lot of fat, a lot of vegetables, and you know, that's it. And <laughs> very, very minimal carbs. The concept is very simple. It's just hard as hell to do. You actually have to cut out a lot of carbs. You have to really, really read your labels and make sure you're not going over your sugars, your carbs. And when you have, when, when I used to think that, um, you know, like I could get some juice or get like even some apple juice. I'm just gonna use apple juice for instance. When it has so much sugar in it, those convert to carbs. That's just as much, that's just like carbs. Carbs is pretty much just a, it's just sugar. That's pretty much all it is. So if you're someone who has PCOS, um, you're someone who has, uh, if you know someone who has Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, timers, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. You know somebody that has cancer. Ketogenic is definitely the way to go. Getting into the actual functioning of keto. When I first started doing it, at first I was kind of overloaded with all of the, 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 the research that I had done. You know, from keto, I was going out and buying those little pee sticks, those little things that you pee on and it tells you about it if you're in ketosis. Um, I was, you know, logging a lot of my stuff on my fitness pal and doing all of that. Like I said, that's another video, but I don't really feel like you need to do all that but in the beginning if you are really 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 overweight and you are someone who fails really easily and you have you know you you failed you've had a lot of issues you can't do it i definitely recommend you track you know you track you log you just keep um a journal or something documented that has your food in it and how much fat and stuff in it and then once you've kind of gotten the flow of that you can start doing keto. Another thing that I like about keto is that for my women that have PCOS if you have PCOS your body pretty much is insulin resistant which means that it depends a lot on insulin to get energy which is not a good thing okay if you don't believe me go check out dr eric berg i will leave the link to his video to his channel below so you guys can check it out or i'll put it somewhere up here so you can see when you're eating high fats lots of vegetables good protein um you're not hungry you're not hungry as often. You don't feel the need to eat as much. And when you're when you're not focusing so much on eating, you can think better. Yeah, when I tell you I have gotten so smart, and I, I have gotten so smart and I have had so, my mental capabilities have like increased. My brain function has just increased. If y'all have ever, I don't know what movie that, that's called, where the brain, the people, the brain, yeah, anyway, 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 my brain function has increased because 
when you when your body is zoned out on sugar, you you can't think. You're pretty much dumb. You're like a zombie. You're like. We don't want that. We want to have energy all day long. Um, I found that I don't really need coffee as much to, to give me energy. Now, I will recommend Bulletproof Coffee, which is basically a lot of heavy cream and a lot of butter in your coffee. And that keeps you full. That keeps you full. It keeps you um, satisfied. That's the whole point. Like, if you're eating so many times a day, you're not satisfied okay you're not satisfied your body is is wanting something and if you're and if you are just eating if you're cutting out all your fats yeah of course you're gonna want to eat and you should really only be eating one time a day once or twice a day at the most because you don't if you're eating what you're supposed to be eating you won't need it so I can talk about this all day long but I'm not because <laughs> I think that there's so much you know so much stuff out there for people to you know research but keto the keto lifestyle is coming is becoming very very popular um i think it's the quickest best most efficient way to lose weight and i probably will do keto for the rest of my life i um i have to admit that i don't do it i mean i'm not extremely strict with it like i said i don't log in my macros and all of that stuff and i don't weigh my food and i don't measure this and measure that i just eat good food y'all i just eat better food i eat better and i know when to stop and um I, like i said i don't like i do cheat i eat i cheat but when you're cheating i noticed that this past weekend this past week actually i had been cheating a lot and i realized how depleted my energy was i didn't have a lot of energy so um that's something that I would definitely consider for people who are, you know, they just need a little boost. They're not really even trying to lose weight. They just want to boost their metabolism. They don't want to have to worry about taking pills and drinking tons and di five different cups of coffee a day. And it's just so overrated, y'all. It's so much more simple and I love it. So I will leave some information to some keto stuff down below and you can guys and you guys can go check that out. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like this video, thumbs this video up, and I will be back with a keto haul. Um, keto haul, I'll be back with, I'll be back with some more keto videos. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to put my keto lifestyle and how I really did lose the weight out there. So I will see you guys on the next video. And until then, peace.